Hello, well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and once again we have the Theater of the Bazaar coming from the scientific community. Footprint found uh, find on Crete may push back date humans begin to walk upright. Really? In other words, they're going to invent a new uh, race of humans to explain these footprints. Human-like footprints have been found stamped into an ancient seashore fossilized beneath the Mediterranean island of Crete. They shouldn't be there. Really? <laughs> why not? I mean, they're there, so why shouldn't they be there? Testing puts rocks age at 5.7 million years. That's the time when paleontologists believe our human ancestors only had ape-like feet. And they lived in Africa. Well, it's going into the Kilmus Western Creek. Prince determines them to be features prominent. To feature prominent human features in an upright stance. And that's as significant as a human foot has a unique shape. It can a long sole, five toes, short toes, no claws, and a big toe. In comparison, the foot of, of a great ape looks more like a human hand. And that stuff in evolution wasn't believed to have taken place until some four million years ago. We're genetically engineered, you idiots. I think I think the evidence is clear that most of life on this planet it's genetically engineered. I've gone over this and over this. Just the antics of the uh, eastern gray squirrel, which I hope to be humming today, are more than enough to show that we're genetically engineered. I'm not going to go into that here. Published in the latest edition of Proceedings of Geologists, the association of the study conclusions are Want to raise eyebrows in the human evolution community. Not to mention the great apes will be disappointed. The interpretation of these footprints is potentially controversial, so these abstract emits. The print morphology suggests that the track maker was a basal member of the played hominin in the that's going to be tough. The human ancestor tree, but as Crete is some distance outside the northern geographical range of Crete, we have seen hominins. We must also entertain the possibility they represent a hitherto unknown late Miocene primate that convergently evolved human like foot, foot anatomy. Boy, they are really, really reaching. I mean, what's the matter with, uh, great ape feet? Uh, the great apes seem to get along with them just fine. So why would they have to change their feet? But simply, so he argues there's another previously identified, uh, unidentified human-like creature walking the Earth long before we believed it was possible. Um, Excuse me, uh, people, I suggest you talk to a man named Robert Cremo. He uh, has some interesting information about that. Robert Cremo believes that humans date back a long, long time. Existing pool of evidence in the humanity's origins is built around Australian Austral Pithecus fossils found in South and East Africa along with 3.7 million year old set of hominid footprints found in Tanzania. Now it's based on fantasy. Called the late holy footprints they are believed to have been made by Australopithecus with a narrow heel and poorly defined arch. 
Countess set of 4.4 million year old prints found in Ethiopia, I believe, to have come from Hamid. Okay, I'm not going to try that one. These prints are much closer to that than of an eight, mm, well, a modern human. But Trachyllus footprints 5.7 million years old could be more human than the other. Well, I think it's obvious. For one thing, humans, and if you don't believe me, this you can look this up. Humans have a uh, fused two or chromosomes are fused. The great apes have 48. We have 46. One, one of the uh, two of the chromosomes are fused, and they shouldn't be. You can look that up if you don't believe me. We also have reptilian DNA in this, which is uh, the basis of my uh, short-lived uh, Aliens of the Bible series, although I've had some thoughts of trying to do a few more episodes. The point here is, there's much more to our history than has been dreamt of in these people's philosophy. That's kind of a take off on um, Shakespeare. Uh, I forget the characters. One of them was Horatio. And I guess it was Romeo to Horatio. There, I could be wrong about that, but anyway, he's in the graveyard. He says there are many more things in heaven and earth. Ratio than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Yeah, I'd say there are. I'm artifacts of Mars. Evolution, unguided evolution is BS. I'm an agnostic. This is not a uh, Christian thing. It's simply common sense. Thanks for watching.